Asbury Park. It was like Disneyland. It's this exotic feast for the eyes and ears. You just floated a foot off the ground all day long, lifted by this great music. There was a certain moment in time when something happened here that wasn't happening anyplace else. That mattered. Asbury Park's music history goes way back. We'd see all the top blues guys, B.B. King, Hooker, Lightning Hopkins. There was an education to be had. Because you could cut your teeth and you could try new ideas. This was uh, the beginning of something important. The Jersey sound, whether it be Southside Johnny or Bruce Springsteen, that Jersey sound is distinctively and uniquely Jersey. It's not black jersey, it's not white jersey, it's jersey. It defines us as, as a group. Not separate and apart, but it brings us together. It's soul, is what it is. If you wanted to do your thing, you could do it in Asbury. Asbury Park went through what a lot of cities went through during that time. African Americans and the Italians, the Jews, were not really permitted east of the tracks. Black people start complaining. They were living in terrible conditions, so they burned it down. All of a sudden, people are rioting in the streets. They're burning buildings. It seemed like the next day, we were in different worlds. When the riots happened, uh, everything closed up. Took wind out of everybody's sails. This is a disaster area. We were pretty much the only business that was operational. People weren't coming to Asbury Park for any other reason other than to listen to music. Got the gig at Stone Pony. That's where we started out. And then they started to have other acts coming. Bruce would come down and jam. 50 people, and then 100, and then 200, and then they fixed the roof. <laughs> Maybe we won't close. You could feel it. Things were starting to happen again. Music does bring people together. If we can sing together, we can definitely work together. Everybody's broken, so we are the fixer of broken things.